So in this video we're going to discuss what is a composite body and once we define our composite body how can we calculate the center of gravity, the center of volume, or the center of mass for our composite body. So a composite body we can define as any body that may be split into simple shapes such as rectangles, circles, triangles, etc. All right. It can also be 3D shapes or 1D shapes like lines. Um, but each of these simple shapes, they have to have known uh, center of gravity, center of mass, or center of volume. All right. So if we know, so if the center of gravity, center of volume, or center of mass is known for each component of our composite body. We may determine the systems center of gravity, center of volume, or center of mass using the following formulas. Right. So for the uh, so the equations for the center of gravity are equal to um, so so x bar, y bar, and z bar is the center of gravity coordinates for the uh, composite body. Alright, x tilde, y tilde, and z tilde are the center of gravity for each component of the composite body. And then the last uh, thing is W is the weight of each component of the composite body. Alright, so, so the center of volume equations and the center of mass equations are really similar um, to the center of gravity equation. The only thing here is that for center of volume, we sw swap out weight gets replaced by volume in the equations, um, and the in the center of mass, the weight equation, the weight gets replaced by mass. All right, everything else, the process is exactly the same. The only thing that changes is you replace weight of each component by the volume of each body. Uh, a lot of times, you might be asked to find the centroid of an area or a line shape even. Um, the only case in that case, instead of replacing volume, you would put area instead of volume, or you instead you would put uh, uh, length of that segment. Okay, So that's the only um, really difference. Everything else, the process is exactly the same.